How can someone be naked in front of you and still be able to peep in the open? The answer is to pretend to be blind. This pianist often pretend to be blind to play piano in other people's homes. Because in this period of pretending to be blind, he experienced a lot of ordinary people cannot experience the fun. Some people like to be at home without pants. Some people like to wear no shirt. There are even people who don't wear any clothes at all. To make himself look like a real blind person, Akash wears a blindfold at home every day. To be able to act like a blind person. But little did he know that pretending to be blind would become the most regrettable decision of his life. One day he was invited by a rich man to play piano at his home. The door was opened by the rich man's wife. But strangely enough, the wife did not want him to enter the house. Akash was surprised, but he had already received the money. So he insisted on entering. At that moment, the noise of their argument attracted the attention of the old lady across the street. She had no choice but to let him in. After helping Akash to sit down, he then called the rich man's husband. He then told Akash that the rich man would not be back until later. But as Akash was preparing everything for the rich man's return, suddenly he was taken by surprise. There was a dead body hiding in the corner. The sound of the piano stopped abruptly. The lady asked him what was wrong. Akash said he wanted to go to the toilet. But he didn't know that the killer was hiding in the toilet. Akash was scared and trembled. Luckily, he was very good at pretending to be blind. With great psychological pressure, he opened the door and came out. But after seeing the body, Akash understood everything. Because the dead man was that rich man. After returning to the living room, Akash continued to play the piano while pretending to be blind. The murderer and his wife started processing the scene. Luckily, his acting skills were not detected. After leaving safely, he went to the police station as soon as possible. As soon as he said that, he was so scared that he almost peed his pants. Because the sheriff is the murderer just now. In a panic, he had to change his story and say that his cat had been killed. But Akash's behavior had already made the sheriff suspicious. So he decided to drive Akash home himself. As soon as he entered the house, he started testing Akash to see if he was really blind. To stay alive, Akash played the role well and successfully deceived the sheriff. The next day the sheriff faked the death of the rich man. Then he told the reporters that the rich man had left the house with $10 million in cash. He never came back after that. Akash was then invited to the police intersection, looking at the two murderers on the loose. Akash was scared again. After the recording, he signed it without hesitation. He just wanted to get it over with. But that wasn't the case. At the funeral of the rich man, Akash was invited to play live again. Compared to his timidity, the rich man's neighbor, an old lady, was apparently much more courageous. She went straight to a police officer and told him that she had seen a strong man enter the rich man's house the day. This statement of the old lady, the lady was investigated again. A few days later the rich man's daughter approached Akash again, saying that she wanted to learn piano from him. He had to go there so that he wouldn't be exposed. But Akash had just gone upstairs. Blind pianist was so unlucky, both times he witnessed a murder, and the murderer was the same person. The woman was so worried that she had to check whether he was really blind or not. Soon she came to Akash's home to visit him in person. First, she gave Akash a snack. Then, in front of him, she poured poison into his coffee. Akash got up and deliberately knocked the cup over. The woman immediately pulled out a gun and asked him if he was pretending to be blind. Akash panicked and told the truth. But I did not expect the gun was fake. The matter has come to this. Akash had to beg the woman to let him go and promise to keep his mouth shut. He said that he would leave the city tomorrow. Seeing the woman slowly relaxed, Akash thought that everything would be fine. But the real nightmare was just beginning. He was about to get up and send the woman away when he suddenly felt dizzy. It turned out that the woman had tampered with the snacks too. Akash rushed to the toilet and threw up, but it was too late. His girlfriend Sophie came to see him at the same time. She didn't expect to see the rich man's wife at the door. The woman said she had just died of her husband. If it wasn't for Akash, she wouldn't have gotten over it so quickly. Feeling cheated, Sophie leaves in anger. When Akash woke up he was completely confused, because this time he was really blind. So that even if he went back to the police, no one would believe that he had just gone blind. What's worse is that at night, when Akash was packing his bags to leave the place, the sheriff suddenly appeared from behind. After a struggle, Akash fled to the street. Blind, he accidentally ran into a telephone pole and passed out. Luckily, he was taken to the hospital by an aunt who was passing by. Akash thought he was saved. Little did he know that the aunt and her husband were human traffickers. They took him to an abandoned hospital. They tried to remove his kidney, just as they were about to do it. Akash suddenly had an idea and said, oh. 
I'll give you 10 million and I swear on the Shiva tattoo on your arm. The ant was dumbfounded. How can a blind man see a tattoo? The operation was stopped. Akash saw this and rushed to tell about the woman and the sheriff's murder. He also told the crowd about his plan to get 10 million. After a brief reflection, the traffickers agreed. The next day Akash came to the woman's house again under the pretext of teaching the rich man's daughter how to play the piano. The two soon get in the car and negotiate. On the way, the traffickers blocked the road in front of the couple. When Akash had the woman under his control, they came over and helped to kidnap him. Then they told the sheriff to pay 10 million for his life. Otherwise, the cruel truth about the two men would be revealed. But to their surprise, while they were waiting for the sheriff to deliver the money, something unexpected happened again. The traffickers kidnapped Akash as well, because he was no longer useful. He put the 10 million dollars in cash in the elevator, then climbed to the roof of the building. He shot the trafficker who had the money. Then he went back to the elevator and prepared to leave. But what he didn't expect was, there was a female accomplice downstairs. After hearing the gunshots she decided to turn off the electric switch and trapped the sheriff in the elevator. When the ant took the accomplice to the hospital, partner due to excessive blood loss of resuscitation failed, and the bag of money she was holding was all fake. On the other hand, Akash had to join forces with the woman to save himself. They untied each other's ropes. Unbeknownst to them, the woman took the opportunity to knock him down. Akash's eyes were blinded and he was soon unable to stand up. In the nick of time, when the doctor came in, the two of them finally subdued the woman. Then they put the woman in the trunk and drove away. On the way, the doctor told Akash that there was a change of plan, because he found out that the woman's blood type is a rare blood type. It turns out that due to his professional habits, he had drawn blood from the woman when she was kidnapped, and the blood type happened to be a match for the governor's daughter. So he decided on the fly to sell the woman's kidney to the governor's daughter for a transplant. That way they could make $60 million, and the rest of the corneas would give Akash his sight back. And so the two made a deal. They took the car. They took the woman and disappeared down the mountain roads. A few years later Akash's ex-girlfriend came to Europe to study. One day she happened to see a poster on the side of the road. It was her missing ex-boyfriend. She walks in and sees that he is still wearing sunglasses. The ex-girlfriend thinks Akash is pretending to be blind again, but when Akash told her about his previous experience, she changed her mind about him completely. It turned out that Akash didn't agree to cooperate with the doctor. He was trying to persuade the doctor to hand over the woman to the police, but during the conversation, the woman in the trunk suddenly woke up. The doctor then got out of the car and tried to give the woman an additional injection of anesthesia. But to his surprise, it was the woman who got into the car again. The doctor had just been defeated by the woman. Akash also heard that the woman got into the car. So he started talking to himself. He deliberately mistook the woman for the doctor. Not only did he tell the doctor not to hurt the woman. Maybe he was touched. Maybe out of pity. After hearing this, the woman decided to let Akash live. But when she drove some distance away. She regretted it. She turned around and prepared to kill Akash. Just at that moment, a hunter on the side of the road was aiming at a blind rabbit. The rabbit ran away and hit the windshield, and then the woman missed. Akash ended up in Europe with the help of a friend. After hearing Akash's words, his ex-girlfriend fought for him. You Akash looked back at his ex-girlfriend. He didn't say anything. But when he walked to the next intersection, I was creeped out by the huge reversal. Yes. He wasn't blind. What Akash said to his ex-girlfriend was a lie. The real truth is that he acquiesced to the doctor's plan and took the money and the woman's corneas. Because if Akash was really blind, how could he have known it was a rabbit and a blind one at that?